If you're looking for a local rank tracker that can help you track your online presence, specifically the SEO side of things, uh, then there's this tool called ProRank Tracker that I've been using for know, seven, eight years now. Over the last decade of being in the digital marketing space, I've tried countless trackers and this one's the most affordable and has the most functionality and the best uh, data for like, you know, uh, you can check the previous history and see over the span of the month, where have you been ranking? You can look at the entire history. I won't go into all of the details, but what I like about this tool is that it allows to it allows me to track not only a website but also a Google Maps listing. And not all trackers allow you to track your rankings on Google Maps. And if you're a local service-based business, Google Maps is of huge importance to you because that's how people can request directions and do all sorts of different things that are local oriented. <laughs> you know, it it is a map after all. So <laughs> um so with this tracker, what you can do is set it up so you can see where it says G Local Finder here. Um, this one right here is actually the Google Maps listing. So if somebody searches for Missoula Cleaning Company in Missoula, then this client of ours is ranked number one for that term. Uh, if they search for house cleaning, then this is actually on Google.com. So this would be their website. Uh, the website is ranked number five. And then you can see the search volume, so that gets 210 searches a month. So there's a whole bunch of terms in the top five spots, which is, or top seven spots, which is really where you're going to get most of the search traffic. However, the thing you have to be careful with, with the Google Maps, is that it's very geo-specific. So there are tools that you can use to check where you rank across Google Maps. We won't get into that in this video, but it's really beneficial to at least just have an idea of where you're showing up. What I'm finding is that Google Maps, because it's geo-specific, if you search for like something like, you know, uh, Missoula House Cleaning or Missoula Cleaning Company, it's going to try to show you stuff closest to you. And for whatever reason, this tracker just zeroes in on the, si the center of the city. So wherever the middle of the city is, it's basically saying we rank number one in downtown Missoula, which is like the middle of this town here right um, so that's what it's telling us is happening with our website here um, and that data is extremely beneficial because if we have no idea where we're showing up in the organic search results on Google then there's it's gonna be really difficult to <laughs> make improvements right and having the ability to track both your maps listing and your website is extremely beneficial so how do you set all this up in the first place um, it's actually pretty straightforward. So once you're in your uh, account, I'll leave a link below where you can get set up with an account. But once you're in your account, you come over to the ad wizard over here, and then you can just put in some basic information. So just put in, you know, your domain name, whatever keywords you want to track, and then click next. And then that then it's going to allow you to do a couple of different things here. You can track the top three spots on Google Maps. I like to use this local finder that tracks the top 100 spots on Google Maps because if you're not in the top three, then it's just going to show up nothing and you can't tell what's happening. But you might be in position four and that would be good information to know. <laughs> so <laughs> you can use this. You'll have to set that up in a... Um, I like to set that up in another step so that it doesn't just set up tons and tons and tons and tons of keyword tracking trackers, uh, tracking keywords. Um, but you can choose if you want it to be desktop, Android device, iPhone. You can even select a whole bunch of these if you want. And then you can also choose other platforms. So you can see where you're at on Bing and Yahoo, even on YouTube and Amazon. You can even choose diff different countries. And then you'll need to choose a location here. Click Save. And then once you've set up the listing, you can actually, or the website, you can go and edit it. So that's just done through um, the URL view. There's like a little um, edit button where you can edit. And then you can come over here to add terms, put your business name in, add some keywords, and then use this local finder right here. 
and that's gonna so when you set this up originally it's gonna track your website so whatever keywords you put in here it's gonna see okay your domain name is your website right where does your website rank in Google organically or whatever search engine you choose for these keywords and then secondly I like to go in and add this local finder option and then put the business name in put all the terms that we want to track for that business in Google Maps and then you know just click save down here at the bottom boom and then you'll be able to see both your website and your maps rankings for local and you can even uh, you can even do terms that don't have a local oriented phrase in them so like you can see most of these say Missoula in it because that's where this business is located so Missoula cleaning services but there are people that just search cleaning services or cleaning services near me so we could add those in we just need to make sure that we're adding the location in so that it knows not to track you on a national scale because the odds of you being the number one ranked site in the nation for cleaning company right is probably pretty slim but you could certainly be number one in your local area right the other thing that I'll mention here is that there's going to be different data that you can track here so obviously this is our current ranking right now but you can also see where we were at one day ago one week ago and one month ago and then if you click on these you can actually expand it out and look at each keyword how it's like on a graph where it's moved up and down over time so I, again I won't go into too much depth into how all of this works there's a million different features as you can see that we're not talking about here but for the purpose of this video I just wanted to show you how to set up a local rank tracker so that you can actually see what's going on with your local online presence on Google Yelp Bing all these other places and if there's anything you did have questions about in terms of setting any of this up or anything like that, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. If you're like most new business owners, you're probably struggling to get your online presence established, let alone get it to the point where it's bringing you a consistent flow of customers, right? So that's why I created this free course where I actually walk you step by step through the whole process of setting up your online presence. This is the same process we've been using for our clients for over a decade in one of my agencies. And essentially, I'm gonna show you how to set up an SEO-friendly business name right from the get-go, how to develop your website really quickly and easily, how to set up your Google Maps listing, start getting some Google reviews, everything you need in order to have a substantial online presence where people can actually start finding you and, and purchasing your products or services. <laughs> Best part is I'm going to show you how to do it in under a couple of hours and all for less than 50 bucks. If you're interested, I'll leave a link below where you can get signed up today. Make sure to check this course out for free right now because I'm probably going to start charging for this at some point in the future. All right, I'll see you on the other side.